We've tried a couple times now to get Fumio into the game. And we'll try it again. Now, ideally, what I'd like to do tonight, if possible, is uh, I haven't actually played the character for a number of days. I haven't logged in either. Um, we'll take a look and see what I have for skills currently, and um, also potentially, uh, hopefully, get 50. It must be relatively close right about now. So we're about um, about half a level. So if we can get into um, a PI mission or something similar, we should be okay. So specs wise, not not the greatest. But you know we're 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 making progress. I've I've made zero regarding any sort of set pieces, um, so my limitations are going to be fairly obvious. Oh, we have some rubber banding going on here. This shouldn't really matter because I'm not gonna. It's not gonna take me. That long to, to get to 50, and then after that, the buff no longer helps anyhow. Alright, what do we have going on here? We've got SSB, we've got ones we're not currently qualified to do. Just my stuff here. There we go. Full. So maybe we will actually do some soloing here. Let's take a look and see what we have currently for our contacts. And um, I'm curious to see what I have currently for my enhancements. Let's take a quick look here. So I'm running 30s pretty much across the board, which means none of these are going to be great. But you know, they're the old school 3 for 30, and they have me socketed out the way I want to be socketed out. So this should be uh, how I want the sockets at least, and then I'll go through uh, and I'll start resetting them regarding uh, the actual pieces themselves. Uh, my values, again, not going to be great. Um, but I'm hoping they get better. We have some great absorption going on. Um, our regeneration rate is respectable. Recovery rate is quite a bit better than what we're using, so recovery is never usually that much of an issue for us. Uh, stealth is not that big of a deal either. It's more of a quality of a life thing at this point. Damage resist, we've just got all we have for tough, and then the scorpion shield as well. So we'll build on these. Um, defense, we're looking pretty good on smashing lethal defense. The rest, we're not looking quite so good. But um, I'm hoping that we end up kind of at least getting to the soft cap with with the uh, with the with the purple. Nothing there. Only immobilized protection. And then uh, we've got what we've got from stealth, from, from health and weave. So we'll have to see how it goes. Granville. Mmm. Just did not feel on the red side today. So let's check out our contacts. Give us a chance to act. Ooh, hey. Gives the chance to actually um, watch ourselves at work. Don't care about first ward. Don't care about mid mansion or night ward. Rick Dizorn or Warzone were kind of past two. We could finish up with with Montague, but those are kind of just pain in the butts. Let's go with Maria Jenkins.
We're not sitting especially high up regarding um, mission difficulty. I believe I'm probably still running at the um, negative one and one because I don't know that I've actually changed since I actually ran patron powers. So let's, let's check on that. I don't want things to be too easy. We'll start with zero since I don't recall playing this solo, this character solo since the patron missions. And then team size is going to be one for now. Alright, Maria, what do we got? And here we go. It is a toggle heavy build. death here. Oh, that's okay. So I caught myself thinking the other night that, um, or this morning, at a certain time, that um, maybe I'll end up starting up a super group on uh, Excelsior. And we'll do open invite invites uh, to run and then we can keep our discord channel open and uh, run with that as well so are these things supposed to be vulnerable to fire let's just do this instead Probably stealth through some of these these areas, I guess. Okay, so one of the things that I was talking about um, in, in my previous, um, I'm gonna wait till my my alpha pops here. Uh, one of the things I was talking about in, in the past was um, the ability to jump into combat and jump back out again, and why I found it to be such an enjoyable process um, in this particular build. We'll take a look and, and see once this pops up. I don't know that I'll need all of them, but kind of how I was doing it and, and, and um, what's involved in it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Currently I have um, Burst of Speed tied to my thumb button on my mouse. And uh, I'm going to hover over my, my little Alpha Strike here. I'm going to actually thumb click in, click again. Alpha Strike, and then click back out again. And um, it's, it's actually fairly enjoyable. You know, I'm just going to use. Um, I'm just going to use fire. We'll see how it goes. So I'm kind of tied on that. I can I can do that more often um, than I can Alpha Strike. So Global Recharge would be a great help um, regarding it. But you know we'll we'll deal with it as we as we have to. We'll try her again here once they pop up. All right. Got a thumb in there. Hit it again. My little alpha. And pop out. Yeah. 
So it's kind of kind of a way for me to, in a group, be able to pop into combat and hit two uh, point blank area effects, and uh, then get out again without without possibly dying. Um, and actually, it's worked out pretty well. Um, one of the things I'm not sure about on the build is th there is the opportunity to do um, Dragon's Tail, which is um, not a lot of damage, but it does a knockdown. And I think it also maybe lower damage resist for them. And um, I did not do that. I, I didn't go with it in this build. I kind of I kind of could. Um, currently, I, I have... Um, my final power is web envelope, and I, I'm not entirely sure if I want to stay with it. So, we'll just have to see how it goes. So, always a respec if we need to. Alright, somewhere in here is going to be the fella I'm looking for. It's not you. Big place. Maybe up there? Let's take a look. It's definitely not here. Probably not up there. Sally forth. We'll keep on rolling. I think we've gone as far as we can go that way, so well, let's go this way. You know, I know these graphics are old. I still dig them. Still, still appreciate them. Whoever did the work on this must have really loved what they were doing. Wait, am I supposed to do something there? Well, you know what? Let's let's do this. She just took off. Mm hmm. Dead end. Don't care. Don't care at all. Door here. Oh, this is like a promising. Oh, you know what? I've I've been here. This is gonna be kind of hard. to heal. Oh. I was distracted. It did not end well. Alright, well, well, you know what? Let's try that again. Bad time to be surprised. All right.
Alrighty. Well, at least now I know where they are. to see where I pulled those other guys from. Anyhow, uh, to finish my thought before I, I kind of lost track of what I was doing, possibly set up a, a super group here on the server and um, a nice little super base, and then we'll just run some, say, a task force once a week or so, and we can actually uh, use the group um, Discord to. Everybody on track. Right, this time I'm just gonna just gonna kind of mow you guys down on the way there. Hmm, I did not know that sand actually stunned. I probably should have paid attention to that. time around that, isn't it? Why aren't you burning? Alright. Let's line everything up here. Be able to see me like that. Okay, so I need to destroy that or that altar, right? That infernal's gonna kick my ass before I have a chance to do that. Or is he? So what if I charge up? Oh, can I get you and not him? Yes. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll yellow and red ourselves up. Because who cares about these at the moment? And then just pile on that thing. Once this is done, we'll worry about uh, worry about everything else. So do the squirrel defense here. All right, so I have that down. We'll pop ourselves a couple of heals here. Looking right here. Not looking right. We're not looking right. Okay. 
Okay, we don't want him to hit us. We have a problem, folks. Is he stuck on something? We're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna run out of here. We're just gonna head this way. He's not gonna he's not even know what's happening. Alright, uh gonna define three of these for a look. Alright, let's try it again. Okay, alright, we have a luck. It's not gonna help us if he hits us again though. So, next trick is we get a bunch of locks and then we do it again. I mean, we had him right up to, to, to the point where he attacked us. At that point, we no longer had him. I kind of think maybe more chemical. All right, sell these guys. Get a bunch of lux. Um, a bunch of these. Do it up again. I think if I can hit him and he can't hit me, there's a chance I can win. Or seeing firsthand exactly how bad my uh, my lack of sets is. Okay, here we go. You know, I don't even mind dying, but I do mind having to run through the entire map again. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Just not a great design, you know. As much as they put into, um, The character models they they did not put into the schematics on these these options these uh these maps. All right, infernal. Let's throw another corpse at you. You're gonna take it. Hopefully, you've healed back all the way. Let's start with four and go there. Okay, all right, all right. so far so good. Keep my eyeball on the, uh, the flashing purple. Nope. 
purple is not flashing it. Oh my goodness, that's scary. Alright. Yeah. About the more purples. Oh my goodness. I got five presented there. Can I, can I, can I push him off my butt? Can I equal clock kick him? Oh, there's a hit. did involve me throwing corpses at him, but worked out. Make a blue? Oh, hey, Great Dark. Yeah, I saw that too. I thought that I was more efficient than uh, than I was. But you know, you, you've been you've been grouping this entire time. It's kind of hard to. Uh, to gauge how much you have to actually attack in order for something to drop. Alright, let's take a look and see if we can talk to what's your face again. Maria. Oh my god, we've got... Defeat Dominatrix, huh? This one's kind of hard again. Well, you know what? Uh, we'll find another contact out here too. Focus on genetics, gadget, and relic. Uh, focus on genetics. I don't like Malta. Nope, I'm not sure. There, let's do that. All right. Let's check out Unai. Unai. Sure, let's do that. Anyhow, I'm kind of curious to see um, if anybody would be interested in going that route. Um, I mean, the obviously easiest way for me to do that would be to um, level up a tanker that gives us more opt opportunities to... Well, I guess I have a tanker at 50. But it'll give us more opportunity to do um, certain content. So, I guess probably what I should do next regarding leveling things is I've got um, Ground Faulty, which is a stone and electric. And maybe we'll we'll get some levels into him and some some uh, some sets into him as well. And uh, you know what? I see I see what you're doing there. 
And um, that may allow us to run task forces a little easier. So everybody has some sort of ability to deal damage and not everybody has the ability to actually tank with whatever group comes through. And I think a stone tanker might be the way to go on that. So anyhow, we'll see how that goes. of the non-tank versions of uh, 50 is that we can probably fill in any gaps we have to. Oh, there's one over there. Uh-oh. Hmm, this is probably not good. Obviously, I'm, I'm still connected to the internet because I see myself on the stream. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can reconnect here. City of Heroes just take a take a bit of a dump here. It's not looking well. Well, while we're waiting for something to happen there. Pull up mids here again. This is what we're looking at um, regarding, oh, this is not what we're looking at. We're looking at this. Mm, something in here. Oh, I see. I already have it saved here. No, I don't have this socketed out either, but this is, this is what I end up running. Let me actually restart this as well. This is what I have running currently. Um, other than I don't have the four sockets currently for web envelope. I'll end up socketing that at 50. I don't know if this is even worth it, but you know, we'll give it a shot. And these are the key binds I ended up making up for, for some of the stuff I tried. First of all, to use the left shift, left, left uh, button to click on where I want it to go. And, and that was tricky. 
uh, especially when you're in different planes. And if you're trying to t teleport up, it ended up being kind of a problem. And then I ended up trying to change to the target so that I would do a um, left shift, hit the target that I wanted to by clicking on it. And then I would be able to right sh right click and then hit it again based on me. So I'd do a two attacks there. And then I'd tilde back to wherever else I wanted to go. But ultimately what ended up happening, it just ended up being easier to bind it to button four. And then I'd just thumb click, thumb click, tilde, and I'd, well, alpha strike and then tilde and get myself out. Um, and so far it's worked pretty well. So let me see if we can fire up, um, fire up homecoming again. <laughs> Despite the fact that it shows population here, Homecoming actually shows that Excelsior is currently down. So we have very little options there. Uh, let's try kicking into a reunion once and seeing what happens here. Now that works just fine. mistaken. I doubt it, because there's our shard showing offline currently for Excelsior. So, we'll give it a shot though, because why not? If it is by, if it's on Discord, you might want to check them out. Yeah, it looks like it's, just, it's kinked. Somebody on Everlasting will take a look there too. Yeah, it kicked me all the way back out again. So let's try her again. We'll go to. We'll go to Everlasting. We'll see what happens there. Well, what happens in Everlasting is I get back there too. It's okay. Let's um, let's quickly make something. Um, well, we'll see if this is actually available here. Because some ground fault is probably not. How about ground faulty? There we go. We'll do tank. We'll do. Oh, you know, I don't know that I ever saved his outfit. I hope I did. That'd be a lot easier. All right. Um, stone. Oh, we need to do with rock armor. Then we did electrical. And we did this build. We stayed like that height, but went skinny. Like 
for that maybe? Sure. And then... Come on, be in here somewhere. Oh, life is good. Alright. Well, this is the character that I'm actually currently leveling on the um, on the other server uh, as well. So, let's double check to see what we have for our powers. I think that I'm probably all original for that. And then I think I was going to go with bright electricity and... Um, the green for this, and then the orange. Like, like that-ish. So maybe it was this green. Pretty sure that's the case. All right, and so this is actually the character that I was contemplating using to, to run pickup groups uh, with people um, in the guild chat. So let's take a look. We're going to play the tutorial. We'll play a hero. I think I clicked on it. I did not. And I'll pull up um, the server status. We'll take a look. It looks like um, it is still, still out. Pop over to Discord for City of Heroes and see what uh, see what it says. All right. Step number one, turn off general. And and help for that matter. And um NPC dialogue. Yeah, well at least um somebody else is asking what happened to Excelsior right before I cut them out. All right, temporary powers. We're gonna grab ourselves the experience modifier. We want to give ourselves. We're gonna revoke because who uses it? Um, that I believe was that magic. Was that technology? I forget. Why was I not paying attention to this? I'm on magic. You know? I, I, I can't do it. I gotta change my origin. Damn it. And this is, this is life. Alright. Well, let's do it up. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not gonna do it. No, I gotta do it. Oh, there's a cricket. Here we load 
underground vault. What was he again? That's fine. Go to electrical wall. Change this to bright. Match colors. We go green and bright orange. Perfect. Now, hero. Yes. All right, while that's pulling up, I'm going to take a look and see what I can find out from Discord uh, regarding homecoming. Can't even get the Discord to actually uh, to pop on this, so they must be having some problems. Okay, team, and let's uh, let's take care of business here. Her up over here. Move her over one. Remove this from the tray. Move her armor up. Punch over. Alrighty. Once again, more Volk. Point boosters. Uh, prestige powers. We'll take Sans Blue. And we'll take Nemesis Staff. And then Travel. We'll take Athletic One. And Utility will take secondary mutation. All right. Secondary mutation goes up here. Athletic run goes here. We auto smack on that. Sansa go here. Nemesis and there we go. Excelsior is back now, they say, but not according to what I'm seeing. So we'll finish this uh, this mission off here, and we'll check. It's that unfortunate timing, but you know, that's the way it goes. Given what I've paid for it, it's it's still definitely worth the money.
This is a world of giants, man. A world of giants. This character's almost seven feet tall. And he's shorter than all of these guys, these aliens. I mean, I don't see a lot of advantages necessarily being stone uh, and electric, but as opposed to just electric. Other than sound. And sound's pretty important. Such a pinch. Such a pinch. There we go. Oh, bummer. I don't remember if, if lightning armor or electric armor is resist based or defense based. Alright, let's get ourselves out of here. Oh, yeah. Unless that is Excelsior is back up again. Take a look and see what we have going on on Excelsior. It's going to drive me crazy. Hmm, same level. Wait, 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 what? Oh, I picked the same one, didn't I? Let's try that again. Okay, well, let's go back up and running. Can't imagine this ended well for Fumio.
try this again. Strangely effective. Okay. Took the other down to sixteen last time before the game crashed. Oops. All right, down to single digits. there. You guys can't even see me. Nope, I'm out. Oh, you, you can see me, huh? They're not very strong, are they? Okay, these guys I'm going to have to take out. It's really hard. Okay, we have one left. Where are you? I 
have to pick it up. Sisterhood, I need to get your levels. All right. to go to Atlas. Oh, nice, we got a stone tanker. What else are you, stone tanker? You are stone super. I kind of feel like I should help her. I mean, I'm, I'm 49, right? Where's the stack? That will kill me. I don't think I can buy anything. Really. There's 50. You guys can't. I'm, I'm 50 now.
Oh, there's a hit. There's a big hitter llama. Big hitter llama. Oh my god, I think the cricket is in the building. This is not, not going to happen. Nope, nope, nope. Cricket is in the room. Not saving for it. Okay, what you definitely did not hear there is m me with a blowtorch. But do you hear that right now? It's blessed silence. Can't move back in again. We are. I'm not entirely convinced that the, the web envelope was, was the best choice for me. Okay, so from here we need to... Oh, there it goes. Alright, well, I'll just let me fill it out here very shortly. I can't imagine I'd do anything other than uh, musculature for it. Look at that, Alpha's already 26% 20, done.
I wonder if like fire and um, radiation is a better combo for farming. I'll take a look at it. Threads. So this character has been around for how long? over a week and I didn't play for probably three days or so. My power outage is here so it took us down a bit. percent increase in damage. But I would assume that I may want to actually get the alpha that allows me to do a point blank area, I'm sorry, the attack that allows me to do point blank area effect. Is that a judgment? Yeah, I forget. Possibly. Was that almost unlocked? It doesn't appear to matter how you get to where you need to get to from the alpha perspective. Alright, so we have our alpha. It's going to have to be musculature just because it almost has to be. So we will do Biomorphic goo. Oh, I can't do that. I'm not going to do that until I level. So we'll take a look at musculature here. Oh, I'll be 
back in again. Guess we're back in again. They're running fast ones. Super group. Nope. Well, I won't start with this character because I probably won't play this one that much. Should probably do a box of this and play it, shouldn't I? Carterana stone tanker that has a uh, fire sort circle or burn enabled, one of the two. Brute, I should say. Let's take a look and see what we have for possibilities. Well, that's all going on. Is there slash commands? Um. Rad fire. Doesn't have to be necessarily that fun. and mental manipulation. I don't see that. Sponge dark. Electric shield. No, I just electric shield may not be my jam, I guess. Cross punch from the fighting pool and extra take boxing and kick. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. All right. I think we want to go with the tanker. I mean, what could be wrong on Reddit, right? Willpower. DB. What is DB? Uh, 
bastard, sorry. Maybe. DP. WP. TP. What am I missing? Uh. TV. Okay, so we do tanker. Dual, really dual blades. I, I, I don't, I don't see that. Super strength. Hmm. Radiation armor, which I have one of those. Scrappers, blah blah blah, grunt. Willpower. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, I'm thinking no. Rankings of vulnerability. Stone armor. It's okay. <clears throat> Don't think I got enough to actually get me to where I need to go. Let's check our auction house, make sure we don't have anything that we can sell from that. And we don't, we don't have enough really from current threads to worry about things there. I suppose we can use cleaving below. So we got going on here. Two thousand is fine. We will take that for ten thousand. So, what does staying here get me? The 
bonus tickets after completing mission architecture content for a short time. I don't know what that means. What are what are bonus tickets? Doesn't matter. So we have our R50. Park ourselves down there. We'll keep on pumping out um, the tanker. Quit character select. And we'll get um, we'll get ground faulty in. Stalin. Anarchy. Anarchy. Alpha TFB. Tutor, if you're um, if you're on, good luck with um, Excelsior. It has been um, down at least once tonight. Ah, Grandfell Redside. Mm hmm. so tall in this game. It's amazing. I think I should be just slightly taller. I'll make myself slightly taller. Yeah, everybody took their um, their complaints over to Everlasting, and uh, which is why the population of Everlasting is at like 590 right now. So they're they're under the impression that um, Excelsior is crashing due to the the level load for the number of characters on all the time, that's why it's having all the problems. But, you know, if everybody goes to Everlasting, that just migrates it from one to the other. I suppose a, a, a good option would be like Indomitable or Torchbearer, one of the lesser ones that are actually based, you know, in, in the U.S. time zones. Okay, well, let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Like my height is appropriate. Look good there. Contact. What do we got? King's roll. Twin shot. 
Yeah. That could be why they never crash. <laughs> my, my decision to pick the lowest population server when we first uh, we first started out uh, ended up being a reunion, which was obviously a colossal mistake. So, who knew that they'd all be French? Well, I mean, Everlasting is, hasn't been showing the same kind of issues regarding anything, have they? So maybe we'll, we'll pick Everlasting as an option. To be honest, I have no idea what Adaman Mantor Master Adamaster. No idea what that is. I see it come up on a relatively frequent basis, but uh, I've never been part of it. I don't recall it from the original game. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Very interested in seeing what it looks like once all the ugly armor comes in. Oh, a dark Astoria. I have, um. I have not great memories of Dark Astoria. I tend to end up bypassing. A lot of the missions once you get down to the one where you know the the books and the spears end up attacking the the front door. I've never played a tanker in that, and the aggro is so messed up um, that it's impossible to play it with with any tanker that does not stick right by the front door. Um, if, if you wander at all, the group party wipes. And then, then the all of the books and things start camping the the respawn area. So explains why I don't know much that much about it, I guess. I know it would cheapen the experience of uh, of you know leveling this character from one to fifty, but I am not opposed to jumping on an AE mission chain with this character. 
Uh, lost. I'll go up top. Yeah, I just ended up finishing up my um, finishing up my um, dual pistols uh, martial assault at 50 tonight, and uh, that took about uh, about a week, I guess. Um, most of it was actually kicking in on um, Peregrine Island missions, so it wasn't entirely useless during them. But the last half of half of a uh, level or so, from 49 and a half to 50, yeah, I kicked in an AE. Super fun character, though. I, I did not expect to enjoy the mechanics of that build uh, as much as I did. I know they're not the, the greatest blasters in the world, but the combination of the, that um, primary and secondary, just a lot of fun. I will uh, most likely put that one in if I've got um, a little bit of time to run a couple of missions. Come on. Pardon the flushing sound. Hello. What I've found, Deuter, is I've, I've, I've found that I have a, an idea for um, a, a costume, and then I try to figure out what power set would look good with that costume. And uh, then I don't really, and if it's a power set I've never used, because I tend to like to use ones I haven't tried before, um, I'll just pick what looks good along the way. And then at some point in time, around mid 40s or so, or earlier, if it's just a piece of crap, I'll end up doing respects. It's it's different enough now that um, you know if if you haven't played the AT with that power set before, with that combination. It's not really all that obvious until you actually play them, how they work together or how they don't work together, which is kind of cool. So there ends up being, you know, a bunch of things that I, I realized, wow, this sounded really cool in the, in the description. I'm looking at the numbers, thinking, yeah, you know, that, that'll be alright. And then in reality, it, it just sucks in the game. And then I'm looking at things like Dragon's Claw. Like, ah, it looks like a bunch of crap. And then I take it and then socket it out with IOs. And it's huge. It's massively good. Uh, 
I still never expected burst of speed to be good. I thought it'd be like combat teleport. And it sort of is. But it's it's more. So I'm kinda curious about what else you can benefit from so that's gonna be a blaster secondary. I'm not sure is it any for anything else other than the blasters? I don't think it is. So what other blaster combination primary would actually be go well with uh with martial combat. Pistols is great. I had never played the combo before. I thought I I and I think I saw it. In, there's there's a post that came out a while ago. Um, I I forget what website it is, but they had like a list of builds that were one man gang builds for um, Homecoming City of Heroes, and I think they had like things like Robot Time and. Um, Spines and fire, maybe for brutes, and then they had really not a lot for for um, for blaster builds. But at the very bottom of the page, they had a link to the five best blaster builds, and this goes back to like twenty early twenty twenty. Like well, I would have never thought that combination. Yeah, yeah. I see a lot of I've seen a lot of um. Of um, radiation fire for it too. Mm, kind of does. I, I've I've actually run um, my spines fire, which I think is like forty-five or so. Um, not not as a tanker tanker, but as kind of a DPS in in missions, and it's not horrible. But it's not tanky uh, against anything that's just not fire based. I have no idea why I'm clearing this floor. Right, let's look over here. What are you guys doing? You know what? I don't care about you guys. It might have been Spine's bio that they were saying was part of one man from that army. Come to think of it. as a brute. But yeah, I think what I'll end up doing at some point, um, I, I may end up doing like one night a week, um, just doing running a missions and inviting anybody who is um, watching to join in and level up whatever characters they want. But for me to do that successfully, I need to have a decent AE build. And the one I have right now, I, I can't I can't do I can do plus two, plus three maybe. But it ends up being slower than it needs to be, so it really needs to have um, I need to put all the sets in place basically. So that takes money.
But I figure between that and maybe uh, pulling in a a decent tanker of whatever sort, uh, and then you know running through PI missions or um, announced arcs of some sort, that'd be fun. We'll pull in bigger groups maybe. Sorry, Dieter, I don't understand the question. Oh, for the for the AE missions? Uh, fire. Yeah, it's entirely fire-based. But I figure there's never any shortage of, of people looking to try to jump in and, and either sit or help on on um, any AE group, and I've benefited from that quite often, so it'd be nice to be able to pay it back a little bit. We'll get that set up at some point and we can help some people get through their their hell, hell levels or well, whatever it takes. That, that you know the I look at the numbers from a, a money perspective and if you're using that that those AE runs to like you know after you've already been set it out and and you're all set up um, to help finance setting up other characters so you know one night a week you do runs that that allow you to to you know help help your newbies out or you know give money away either way It'd be kind of nice. So, what do we got for our contacts here? But yeah, there, the numbers I was looking at, and you never know how accurate it is, um, but they were crunching numbers regarding expectations of of how many millions of, of uh, influence per run you could actually make. And I don't think that Fire Spines was actually the highest. Yeah, I agree. So, the second account that just follows would have to be... Would it be the same power set, Duder, or would you pick some sort of support class that kept on buffing? Because I would expect the support class would just end up dying. So, I don't know. It's a good, good, good issue to have, though. I guess. So maybe we'll end up doing that as well. Same power set. I guess that makes sense. And you kind of double your money that way too, I suppose. All right. Well, or you know, if not double, then get close to it. It's a good plan. I have like. Um, I don't know, three or four computers laying around that are capable of running it. Although I think that, um, you know, <clears throat> it's probably capable of being run on a telephone if you really needed it to. All right, what are we getting for this? I don't care about that. If I close knocked down and take some damage. Uh, I do this, I do this, I do this, this, and this. Do I need to take Jacob's Ladder? I 
I don't think I want to take Jacob's Ladder. Or Havoc Punch. All right. Well, we'll just take Taunt. I will need Taunt at some point, right? I'll need Earth's Embrace, too, won't I? We'll do Earth's Embrace first. Get that socketed out. Yeah, I think so, too. And then you could always do, like, um... I think from what I saw, they'll do a build where they do burn on auto. Or burn patch, whatever it is. So you have the burning aura and then quills going and then you do a burn patch on auto. I guess it makes sense. It's not a bad plan. Currently, <clears throat> I think my character is, like I said, I think it's 45. So I, I may end up kind of um, prostituting myself out into more AE groups to get me into the 50 plus range. And then going from there. He is um, not sturdy, and there's not a lot of millions currently put into it. But um, it's okay. So he's always looking for a. Although I don't like, um, I don't like actually doing the the uh, leveling from from one to fifty by standing next to the entrance in a. It's a. Uh, I never end up <laughs> learning anything about how to play the character. And some people start learning after 50, but I'm like, you know, I, I don't even know how to use the characters in the right way at that point. Where are all of the thingies? Alright, let's check it out. Oh, that's fine. There's enough user going on with AEs that um, I can pop and camp. And a lot of them <coughs> will even actually say, you know, you can. You can strike if you want, and if you don't want to, you don't have to, to hit. And, uh, I would prefer to go in and actually do the hitting and dying. Uh oh, well, there is an ambush. Oh, ambush. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh, boys. Come around the corner. Aha! That's my clever plan of using the corner. Eh. There we go. Also, sorry, use a grizzly brace. wonder how I'll end up socketing out um, mud pots eventually. I'm just gonna rat a tat 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 tat. Look at those threes just flying off of these guys. How can they stand it? Can they stand it? Hey now. Get your house you come here. Come here. <laughs> Strange enough the the um
spines fire brute that I end up building. I ended up leveling him. It, like doing low level AEs. Just trying to get used to the whole process. It's not hard, obviously, but. I didn't under really understand the whole concept of, of farming up until that point. I, I thought, you know, farming was just doing easy missions. The uh, the original game, I don't know that they had farming really. This one I played it, they didn't have <coughs> a good way to farm anything. That was a 42-point heal there. That's amazing. Very solid command inspirations. this guy. There we go. That's right. Anyhow, I'm hoping that that ends up being what we kind of evolve into. Um, and that people can drop in and, and, and play whenever they want. Uh, we'll have a set time where we can actually Hop in and run PI missions, or you can level up whatever you want for any any characters you want to drop in. I feel like I've benefited a lot from people who have been willing to do that with me. So. The least I can do is try to suck less regarding it. Do this up. I honestly had forgotten how slow it is to level a stone tanker though. I'm just enjoying the process more. That's what's happening. I suppose this, this arc isn't too bad. <clears throat> I'm, I'm relatively hard to kill. With my probably 240 health. regrets on not picking up the other attack. And then respecting out of it later. Fuck 
shortcuts. There we go. What up, boys? Have some of this. And soccer attack. I'll punch him. Punch him again. Oh my goodness. running a level goes just like that I was gonna run in and kill him arrest arrest him it's gonna do that right now go on in It's a bull strategy. Which is not necessarily paying off. Tell you what, this this one back here with the frickin' sledgehammer keeps on cracking me in the nuts. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm really tempted just to stand here and watch her through herself to death. There you go. How's that? Right. Oh, really? All right. Positron 1, I am too low for Positron. Am I not? Positron 11? I believe. I'm getting close to Positron. Oop, I fell. I'm just gonna keep going. What's up, everyone? Uh, how, how are things? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's over here? Mm hmm. Can't see me. Oh, I just trapped myself. All right. We'll make it work. Alright. 
Squishy tank. Squishy tank. They're all dressed alike. It is much easier to level a brute, isn't it? Goodness. See if I can do that. That's where I came from. That's where I'm going. We'll see if we can get in that group. Because the level eleven as a tanker is not not fun. Okay, well, let's go and finish this off then. We got about 10 minutes left in the stream. A little rocky start tonight um, between <clears throat> everything and crashing on my system and then also Excelsior crashing as well. talking too much. <coughs> Excuse me. strategy there. Bold. <clears throat> I 
I suppose I could dual character this as a tanker and follow myself around with a spine fire brute as well, huh? It's actually not a bad plan. Are you following me? Nope, they're not. Alright, take care of this. I'm coming for you. Oh my gosh, I still have freaking this on. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're looking good. We're still looking alright. better. Spoon come to the hive for the midnight snack. 45 plus. CC wanted. Do I have somebody CC on this or that's yeah I do, I've got several. Super jump score is amazing. Ooh, look at look at all of this, huh? Look at all of this. This is kind of cool. All right, so mud pause is gonna get a couple empty sockets. Uh, We'll put some empty sockets in the stamina first. Oh, we got a million on me. I like a million. I must have sold some. pieces of orange salvage. The new regulators. Sure.
I'm okay with the concept. Oh, that's right, this place. I'll right, you know, put her on. Run. Smithy? Finish this mission off, and then we'll call it a night for tonight. the guy with the machine gun. <clears throat> there he is. Put him back around the corner. I'd like to see you over here. Look it up, boys. a week either PI missions with a group that can change based on whoever's available um, and uh, also maybe one, once a week we'll run a couple hours worth of of A missions for anybody who wants to get leveled up you know we do this at the same time every week it may not be all that exciting to watch but uh, you can join in on discord and, and twitch and we'll see how it goes Anyhow, hope you have a great evening. It's supposed to be a hot one tomorrow for us here. Hope you stay cool. We'll talk to you later.